You saved me, God. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Morning, babe. <laughs> well, good morning, and welcome to Women of War Mornings with God. Uh, let me make this a little softer. I do not own the rights to the music playing in the background. I'm a few minutes late. Forgive me. <laughs> kind of just rolled out of bed. <laughs> um, anyway, good morning. And thanks for joining. I'm Mornings with God. Um, this is the day that the Lord has made. And so we will choose to rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Um, the scripture for today is found in John chapter 6, verse 38. And this is Jesus talking. And he says, For I came down from heaven. So right here, the word that became flesh tells us he came down from heaven not to do mine own will, but the will of him that sent me. So Jesus came, he tells us he came, not to do his will, but the will of the Father. The Father is the one who sent him, amen. So today, today's encouragement is simple. God sent each one of us, amen. He created each one of us. Good morning, Sister Cynthia. God created us in our mother's wombs. He had established us from the beginning of time, from before the foundations of the earth. So if Jesus said that he came down, good morning, Sister Lola. He came down from heaven, not to do his will, but to do the will of the Father, to do the will of the one who sent him, then that's my encouragement for today. We have to do the same thing. Amen. God sent, God sent us. He sent us through our moms. Amen. He sent us to come down and do his will. Amen. Not our own will, but to do his will. So again, John chapter 6, verse 38, Jesus right there tells us, he came, he came <laughs> down from heaven. So we came down from on high, like I said, God knew our names before the foundations of the earth. He has a plan for each one of us to fulfill his will, amen? So today, <laughs> let's ask God if you don't know what it is that he sent you for I'm pretty sure all of you do <laughs> good morning Pulsa thanks for joining so I'm sure each one of you know that you have a call on your life an appointed time for such a time as this amen so God sent us down from heaven, because where were we before we were in our mother's wombs, amen? <laughs> God sent us down, like he sent Jesus, to come and do his will. So we're not here to do our will. We are here to do the Father's will, amen? What's the Father's will? Everything in here. <laughs> and whatever else he tells us to do, because each one of us, has something to do for the kingdom of God. We're not here for nothing. We are here for something, for a greater purpose, amen? Soul saved, amen? A greater purpose, a greater plan. And God 
is behind it all. God gives us where he anoints, he appoints. He gives us the plan to do. God wants us <clears throat> to fulfill his will and his plan. It's a good plan. It It's a plan that causes us to prosper. Amen. It's a God has good things in store for us. Amen. Amen. So that's it for today. That's my word of the day. Before I close, I do want to give people the opportunity. If they jump on, I want to give them the opportunity to come to know Jesus. If you don't know where you're going when you die, the Bible tells us in Romans 10, Romans 10 9, if you confess with your mouth, <clears throat> that Jesus is Lord and you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, then you shall be saved. And if you want to be saved, say this prayer with me. Hallelujah. Father, I come to you in the name of Jesus. I ask that you forgive me of my sins. I believe with my heart and I confess with my mouth that Jesus is the Lord and Savior of my life. Thank you for saving me in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. So, it's that simple. Yes, it is. If you said that prayer, according to 2 Corinthians 5, 17, it says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All old things have passed away and all things have become new. So now, nothing from our past belongs to us. We lay it at, we laid it at the feet of Jesus. The blood of Jesus covers it. We are sanctified, set free, born again, delivered, spirit filled. Amen. So if you said that prayer... I encourage you, find a church that is Bible-believing, preaches the uncompromised Word of God, and believes in the Holy Spirit. Amen? If you don't know where that is, you can message me here. Tell me where you live. I'll try to find a church close to you and plug you in. Amen? Amen. All right. Beautiful sisters and brothers, my husband's on too. <laughs> Be blessed today. Be blessed today. And know that we are here to do the will of the Father, not our own. Amen. Thanks for jumping on. I will be here again tomorrow morning at 7 on Mornings with God. Look forward to seeing you all. Um, look at he. Oh, yeah. Thanks for jumping on, babe, for taking time on your break. Sister Cynthia, Sister Lola. Pulsa, Sister Pulsa. I love you guys. I pray for you guys all the time. Thanks again for jumping on. I love you all so much. Be blessed.